here today at Bull Bay Bayou. It's uh, all the way to the east side of Alabama. This is the 2024 Five Rivers Tournament footage for me. So I've caught a, a really nice speckled trout while it was still too early to film. It's uh, right at 22 inches, just a little over. You are allowed to keep one trout over 22 inches, so hoping that by the time the day ends, it will have shrank up to 22 or less. Really nice trout though, caught it on top water. Caught it on this uh, unfair dog walker. So I'm just working the mouth of Bull Bay Bayou here with this top water. I'm getting some small trout, small reds, um, nothing bigger than that trout that I caught. Nothing close to legal size. And here you can see we've hooked up with something else. This is going to be a little trout. and a half. So, uh, I end up going to the east just a little bit. Uh, I've worked with the mouth of Bull Bay Bayou for about an hour after daylight and I've only caught small fish. Nothing bigger than that first trout that I got right there at daylight. And you can see this creek is getting really shallow. And on the left side I'm going to see some red fish swimming past me and that's me looking at them. I can clearly see the reds. I can see the whole color of the fish, the dot on the tail, and I'm going to be throwing the unfair smack tail at them. And they're not eating right off, but I'm just watching all these fish, and I know they're red fish, so I'm going to try to see if I can sight cast some of them. And you can hear them, you can see them pushing water. I'm just trying to be as stealthy as I possibly can, but they're, they're not biting right here. So I'm gonna try to change my vantage point so I can see them a little better. Now that I'm standing, I can see a couple redfish out in front of me here. You can see them pushing water up front. I'm just going to hop that smack tail right in front of them, and maybe they'll hit it. Alright, what a cool eat. Let's see if we can get this guy in. deal this red looks to be about 20 20 plus inches somewhere in that neighborhood so now we've got two fish out of our slam got the speck got the red hopefully that speck will shrink up and uh, just gonna work this creek here we got a bunch of reds in there still uh, I'm gonna see if I can find any that are a little bit bigger you could see them a little bit better on the video but pretty much every commotion you see on the side and in the front of me is a redfish um, I can see them the water's so shallow and with my polarized glasses I can see them swimming but they don't always eat
lure that I've made. Get him? Yeah, I got him. What is that? Oh yeah. Ah. Little rat red. Yeah. That looks like a little bit bigger one on the end line. He's pulling pretty hard. Pretty good test for the inline spinner. We caught several redfish in the span of just a few minutes. Gonna get this guy in and he will be number three for our cooler bag. We're keeping fish to eat in for the tournament and I need to go after that flounder now. And this little section of old poles and dock here and riprap is just a little bit to the northeast of Bull Bay Bayou where I started. And this is my second time fishing it this morning. I fished it when it was pitch black dark and there wasn't anything going on. So I'm coming back here now. I'm thinking if there's going to be a flounder in this area, it's got to be up through here. With all that rock and all these poles, I'm just going to try to work the backside of it where current's rushing across the stuff and hope for the best. At this point, I've worked all of it except for this little... Uh, outer poles here still hoping for that flounder gotta be around here if he's gonna be here might be the one we need. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a flounder. Okay. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. 
All right. Should be about a 15 inch flounder. So I've got all three fish for the slam. As long as my speckled trout will shrink up and go 22 or less inches. So I'm pretty much relying on that. And I've worked my way to one of those islands that's out in the middle of the bay. And I've spotted some tailing redfish. And I'm just playing with these guys here. Um, I've already got my limit of three fish. So I can't really do anything as far as keeping these guys. But I see them. They uh, look like they might be hungry, so I'm going to cast to them. Wasn't that a cool eat? I think ate in that super shallow water. I was paddling back to the ramp across this open water, I spotted a group of manatees swimming along. I see a fin kick up every now and then. I was uh, careful not to get too close to them to spook them, but I wanted to get close enough to be able to get a little bit of footage. It's uh, kind of uncommon for me to run across manatees, so cool sighting. Now let's get back to it and get back to the ramp. And this is just us paddling back to Bayou Heron over here in Mississippi. Gonna get loaded up, get back to the weigh-in, and maybe our fish shrank up and we have completed the slam. So we caught us a few fish. Got uh, three redfish to take home, a decent speckled trout, and a flounder. And I kept a little bitty white trout too. Let's see how this tournament goes. I'll update it over here or here. Thanks for checking out the video. See you next time.